Hi folks, my review today is on a Corgi Batmobile. It was made in 2000 and I think it was based on the Hush series comic book. It's one of the later versions. There was two Batmobiles in that comic book. This was the later version of it. It's a lovely looking Batmobile. It's 118 scale and it's die cast metal. The front, as you can see, has a lovely menacing bat face logo. There was a minor crack in it when I got it, so I just repaired it. You can probably just see it here. But just had to put that together. Otherwise, it looked absolutely fine when I got it. I got it second hand. Taking a look at the side profile, you can see that the front here completely see through. You can see the engine. If I can lift it up, you can see a little bit more detail there. If I move it from side to side, the front turbine moves, which is a lovely little feature. In fact, the canopy also comes off, if I just clip that off there. And I take a look at the back here. There's also a little bit of the turbine, which is the thrust of the back, which moves as well. It's just a lovely looking car. I'll put the canopy back on there. Okay, now if I give it a wee twirl around here. You can see the thruster, it looks a bit gold, which is a nice feature. The fins are your typical bat wing shape, which is very cool. And the wheels sort of have a hidden part element to them, but still very cool. I'll take a quick look on the inside of the canopy for you now. Okay, so here's the canopy. Lots of bat logos inside, and you can see the turbine bit leading to the thruster. I'll move it back and forth so you can see the movement there. But lots of lovely little detail. I'll go from this side as well too, you can see all the little dials and the steering wheel around there. And presumably where Passenger or Robin would sit. But very, very cool. Taking a much closer look at the engine now, and you can see a little bit clearer how the front moves. I'm just moving it slowly and a little bit rapidly there. As you can see, that moves very nicely. The amount of detail I got inside is really good. That almost looks like a Batman head or shape or something on the engine there as well too. But looks absolutely fantastic. Overall, folks, I think it's a wonderful little collector's piece. If you ever do find one, I do suggest picking it up. Thanks.